The U.S. government has ordered all non-essential staff to leave its consulate in Pakistan's Lahore after receiving threats of attack, with the State Department also warning U.S. citizens not to travel to the South Asian country. Friday's announcement came as Pakistani police said assailants killed at least 10 people after opening fire outside a Sunni Muslim mosque on the outskirts of the southwestern city of Quetta. Another blast took place in Islamabad as the country celebrated died which saw a guard shoot dead a would-be suicide bomber in the capital who was trying to infiltrate a Shia mosque. Staff have been moved to Islamabad where the U.S. maintains a large embassy, Al Jazeera's M. Shiaz Tayyab, reporting from the capital, said. That's a sign that the U.S. doesn't plan to shut down this, Lahore, consulate permanently. The personnel reduction at the Lahore consulate was precautionary and unrelated to the recent closures of numerous U.S. diplomatic missions in the Muslim world. Two U.S. officials told Associated Press News Agency, speaking on condition of anonymity because they were not authorized to discuss the order. The decision comes as Pakistan celebrates the festival of Eid al-Fitr, marking the end of the Muslim fasting month of Ramadan, and a day after a suicide bomber killed 37 people at a police funeral, also in Quetta. Credible threat, a senior State Department official said in a statement. We are undertaking this drawdown due to concerns about credible threat information specific to the U.S. consulate in Lahore. U.S. embassy officials said there was a specific threat to the consulate in Lahore and they did not know when the embassy would reopen. Threat reporting indicates terrorist groups continue to seek opportunities to attack locations where U.S. citizens and Westerners are known to congregate or visit. The State Department wrote on its website, Friday's measure comes two days after the evacuation of staff from the U.S. Embassy in the Yemeni capital, Sana'a, and a recommendation to U.S. citizens there to leave. The U.S. shot nearly two dozen missions across the Middle East after a worldwide alert to its citizens last week. It gave a warning that Al-Qaeda could be planning attacks particularly in the Middle East and North Africa. The Lahore warning noted that several foreign and indigenous terrorist groups pose a potential danger to U.S. citizens throughout Pakistan. There have been at least 11 attacks that have killed more than 90 people during Ramadan in Pakistan.